1972, there was the first UN environmental conference. Our president, P.G. Yudenhammer, felt very strongly about both emission controls and safety. And Yudenhammer then made a very bold and maybe a little different type of statement from an industry leader's point of view. He clearly stated that cars have a safety problem, an environmental problem. We are part of making the cars. We have to be a part of solving the problems. The President of the U.S. signed a bill which requires 90% reduction of the health affecting emissions. And I was offered or asked to be the project manager in trying to fulfill this U.S. legislation. We, as everybody else, worked on several different solutions. And uh, we found that at one very, very specific air fuel ratio, the nitrogen oxides virtually disappeared. They were completely reduced. So uh, we understood that if we had a sensor, we would be closer to controlling the air fuel ratio. The original lambda sensor I have here in my hand. And what it does is the exhausts come into this part of it. It sits between the catalyst and the engine and it will measure the partial oxygen content and compare it with air and the exhausts. Eventually, we have the system certified in the US. Uh, what you do is you run a lot of cars here in Sweden and then the authorities decide, we want to see this and this and this car. And you fly those cars to Detroit and they measured it and they came back and said, Unfortunately, the measurement failed. We got zero. The instruments didn't show anything. So they ran it a second day, and the same thing occurred again. And then they got suspicious that maybe it wasn't a failure on their instrumentation. The car was that good. <laughs> we were clearly the first in the world to introduce this system which subsequently has been copied virtually on every single engine. Lawnmowers, motorcycles, all of the cars, and has been great success. Maybe the, the greatest thing is to feel that we actually did something for the world's environment. Mm -hmm.